Uh, find a lasting solution to the persistent Apapa gridlock requires compliance to the rules of engagement. This is the position of port users, operators and government representatives at a forum convened by the Maritime Guild of Editors in Lagos. Ifunaya Eze reports. Nigeria's border closure has necessitated the rerouting of cargoes through the nation's ports, especially the Lagos seaport. The fallout of this development is that trading activities at the Lagos port is on the increase. This indicates that more trucks would want to gain access to the ports. The situation has again aggravated the traffic situation along the port corridor. Concerns about the seemingly intractable congestion is why port users and operators at this forum are discussing to find a lasting solution. Terminal operators have turned the ports into even factories. This was not the original plan. And so places where trucks should have packed have now been converted to, to some other purposes. And so the trucks don't even have a place to pack. And so what we're saying is that if we had, uh, I, I mean, uh, perhaps adopted the intermodal system of transportation long ago, we wouldn't have found ourselves in this kind of crisis. The issue of having a, a centralized um, holding bay that could be, you know, um, automated on its own to ease, you know, help the proper, um, what's it called, call-off system, instead of having them in different areas. Government at this time need to come in. You don't have to leave everything for PPP, because uh, a lot of people may look at it, it may not be too viable for them. When, when, when you intervene, your intervention should also include infrastructural intervention. So when you intervene, at that point you can concession and let people come and see it is viable. The vice chairman of the presidential tax force on Apapa gridlock, Kayode Ukbaifa, says that in discipline and total disregard for guidelines, among other considerations, are responsible for the lingering problem. Everybody has a reason to bring their truck to the port. But the port is not ready for all of you. So if the port is not ready for you, go to the nominated parks or stay in your yard. That's our job. And for the last few days when you saw a lot of tankers on uh, Eco Bridge, it has to do with congestion from people who are operating badges illegally, uncontrolled badging, just bringing trucks in hundreds and two hundreds onto Creek Road that doesn't have capacity to take more than 20 trucks at the time, and thereby blocking the tankers from getting to their and when that happens, we try to keep the tankers off the road. From all indications, the burden is on government to take up the political will to enforce compliance by maintaining a firm stance regarding some hard decisions that must be taken to sanitize the Lagos port environment. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.